Hello friends, welcome back to CAD practice. Today we are going to construct a basic model of plastic funnel in Autodesk Inventor software. So let's get started with today's tutorial. Go to new, take a standard part in millimeter and go to create. Now select the 2D sketch and select XY plane. Now go to line command and from here select the center line so we are going to construct the center line ok now escape now go to line command once again and switch off the center line from here make a rough profile ok escape now go to dimensions from bottom this will be a dia of 24 and this point and the center line dia of 40 this point to the center line the dia will be 235 and this point and this dia of okay center line is just given to show the dia or you can give at once the diameter dimension otherwise you have to give the half dimension of this by calculating now give the height from this point from bottom will be at height 120 or first the upper height first we will give this top one this height will be 150 ok now this height will be 120 ok escape now it is still moving ok go to horizontal constraint select this bottom point and select this point ok now go to offset command select this whole profile one by one ok and enter and enter an offset of 5 ok it is going outwards but we need it inside so go to offset again select these profiles enter now it will ask you the dimension of 5m the cursor should be in the direction you want to offset if you want to offset inside the cursor should be inside if you want to offset outside the cursor should be outside ok <clears throat> Now go to line command, join these profiles, similarly do here and make a small profile over here, ok. Select this line and select this and give a constraint of parallel. Cancel or you can just delete this and drag this downwards till here ok now this is fully constrained now finish sketch and go to revolve command it will provide the revolve profile and ok now go to top view select this top face and go to create sketch now go to circle command here make a circle of 20 dia and from this point make a circle of 65 dia ok 
now go to dimension the dimension of this from center will be at 140 mm okay skip now you will see what is not defined here okay so go to horizontal constraint select this point and select center point of this circle okay they are aligned now select this circle center point and center point here okay go to project geometry and select this scape now go to horizontal constraint select this center point and select this circle okay now this is fully constrained now go to line command and here make a line scape similarly line command once again from here we will make one more line scape go to tangent constraint select this line and select the outer circle similarly select this line select the outer circle now go to dimensions select this point and this point and give a dimension of 80 and go to tangent constraint select this line and this circle okay do one thing go to line command from this center point to this center point make one line select this line go to construction geometry from here select the symmetric constraint select this line select this line and select the center line now they are symmetrically aligned now go to trim command and trim the outer profiles okay this also this and this internal and this also okay now go to arc and select three point arc from this point to this point and join it up to this circle okay now finish sketch go to home now go to extrude command and select this internal profile except this inner circle Give the dimension of extrude as 5 mm and flip the direction. As you can see, it is coming outside from here. Flip the direction and we will select here join and okay. Okay. Now go to front view, go to origin and we will uh, select the xy plane and go to create sketch now we will change the view so go to view go to view, visual style we will change the view to wireframe ok now you can see the thickness or the inner profiles now go to sketch once again and go to line command select this endpoint select here Similarly, from this endpoint, select here and join both endpoints. Okay, escape. Go to dimensions. The angle between this will be 30. Okay, this is moving, so escape. Go to horizontal constraint and select this or Okay, now it is constrained, it will just moving slightly. Okay, now finish sketch and go to view. From here, change its view again to shaded with edges. Now go to 3D model and select extrude. Now change its view. 
here give the dimension as 40 mm and here give the symmetric and select the cut profile ok and ok now you can assign the color so go here and we will select the blue color uh, we will select blue wall paint ok so this was a basic tutorial to how to construct a funnel model or the 3d model of funnel in autodesk inventor software i hope you like the video if you do that please do hit like and subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you